I want to talk to you about the benefits of rebounding. And if you're following these videos and you have a rebounder already, and you've sort of slipped off the practice, well, my job today is to encourage you to get back on your rebounder. <laughs> get back on your rebounder. And that's basically, it's, it's a no-brainer, guys, and you know the benefits from having been on the rebounder. If you put it away because your visitors come and get it back out again. If it's under your bed, get it back out again. Get on the rebounder because, listen, the health benefits for women over 40, for anybody, but particularly for women over 40, the health benefits of being on this rebounder are massive. It's boosting your lymphatic drainage and with so many issues around breast health, that can only be good. Lymphomas, you know, everything's going on out there. You need that lymphatic system boosted. But if you boost it too fast and too quick, like has happened to many clients who've come to me for kinesiology, if you hop on a rebounder too fast and too quick, you'll have what's called a healing crisis because your whole lymphatic system will just woof all the toxins to try and get rid of them. And before you know it, you feel so sick. You feel like you have a constant flu. That's essentially what happens. You don't want that. You don't want that. You want slow and steady. You want to make rebounding your best friend. Look what I'm doing here. I'm literally just a little bit of a bound, not lifting my feet off the rebounder at all. That's all I'm doing. My back is bent, my knees are bent, my feet are apart at the minute. And that's, that's the height of, of what you need to be doing. Or just even this, like a walking motion, feet still not lifting off the rebounder. That's it for the first while and build it up. I have two programs on my website at the minute and there is a third coming, but it's quite advanced. And these programs have been used by women in their 40s, their 50s, their 60s and their 70s. Yes? They started off, women have started off literally with one minute a day and built up. And the programs, they're not made in Hollywood. They're literally to get you and keep you rebounding. Slowly but surely, building up to a max, and this is the killer, this is the best part about it, a maximum of 20 minutes a day. Now, you might be younger and say, well, I'm going to do two one minute slots initially and build up. And, and so by the end of the thing, you've got two 20 minute slots in a day. Well done to you. I don't. I do one. One 20 minute workout every day. And some days I really do work out on it. But I'm rebounding for well over 15 years now. You do what you can do. That's the best part about these programs. You can take one minute a day for five weeks if you want. You can do, you can do it every three or four days and build up. But I'm asking you not to rush it. And I'm asking you to make it your best friend. If you're rebounding or if you're exercising for your wellness, you meet your needs. If you're exercising for your fitness or for somebody else's fitness, you meet their needs. And you meet the needs of the fitness instructor or you meet the needs of the fitness program and you're not meeting your own needs. If exercise is too hard and it's pushing you too much and people tell you that you need to push your body, you need to push your body. There comes a time when you don't need to push your body. You just need to give it daily, weight-bearing, low impact on joints, exercise. And that's what rebounding does. It gives you daily, weight-bearing, low impact exercise. And if you have a rebounder in your house and you have sort of got out of the way of using it, get back on that rebounder. Even if it's only for five minutes a day during the summertime, every day, I'll still be on my rebounder. If I go out for a walk or whatever, hill climb or cycle, I'll still be on that rebounder, even if it's just for five minutes a day, because my lymphatic system is better after it. My mood is better after it. I know it's toning every single muscle in my body. Every single cell is getting worked. And as you know, when the estrogen levels start to drop in your body, your skin gets softer. So the blood vessels are getting softer. Your body is itching to get more estrogen from somewhere. It'll even produce more cholesterol to get more estrogen. That's the height of it. And that cholesterol we don't need, especially if our system is already sticky and stodgy. So the key thing here is <laughs> get rebounding, keep rebounding. Now, in the videos, I'll also talk to you about nutrition, drinking water. I'm a broken record. I'll keep talking to you about going to visit a kinesiologist because that's where you can get muscle tested to find out exactly what nutrition you need to take, exactly what foods may be working against you right now. 
we change as we grow and we reap what we sow. That rhymes now. <laughs> we reap what we sow. And what I mean by that is our digestive system can put up with a lot when we're younger. But as we get older and as the pancreas is more fatigued due to stress and due to over sugaring and whatever else, then it will not work as effectively as it did in the past. And you're going to need to change your diet accordingly or you're going to slip down the road of diabetes, you're going to slip down the road of pancreatitis, you're going to slip down the road of lymphomas, all of these things. Water, good clean water, fresh air, exercise for your wellness. No, not so much blue light as they say with the old screens, but our generation, not so, we're not so bad on that because we didn't grow up with it. But we can fall into the old trap of it as well. Positive thinking, that's where I use the tapping. Listen, it's not rocket science, but it is essential. And how much is your wellness worth to you? Is it worth a trip to a kinesiologist? Is it worth getting a rebounder and getting on it? Is it worth a water filtration system so that you're getting good, clean, maybe even re-enhanced water? You know, what is your wellness worth to you? And if it's about tapping, also some tapping sessions to get the stress changed in your body, to get those constant negative recurring thoughts gone. What is your wellness worth to you? It's worth a lot to me, especially when I didn't have it, when I had the non-triggered panic attacks, when I post viral illness, and it just, you know, stress is what does it for me. And if I get overstressed, I'm caught. That's why I do this work. It keeps me sane and keeps me healthy and keeps me on my wellness path. So... What's it worth to you to get onto your wellness path? Please like and share this video. And as I said, if you have one of these in your house, get it out. If it's gone away, get it out. If you've sort of got out of the habit of it, get back on it. Start again, go back. Start again slowly and work your way up. Like and share this video with your friends because they could be very glad that you did. This could be the video they need to hear, the video they need to watch to help them to get onto a path of wellness. And... Believe it or not, in this massive world that we have, our wellness is our greatest success. It doesn't matter how many vaccines you get. If your immune system is not strong, it will not be able to cope. You need a healthy immune system and you get it by reducing stress, exercising for your wellness, eating healthy, drinking healthy and having lots of fun within all of that. Keep well, keep watching, please like and share. And follow, follow this page so you keep seeing the videos. Take care and thanks.